Alright guys, it's SG, and welcome to part 6 of my walkthrough. In today's episode, we finally get to leave POC after having that match with Brock. So, over here, when you try to leave east of POC, you'll see this put, um, Professor Oak's head, and it'll give you the running shoes, which is, it makes you run faster by pressing B, and he leaves you as it is, and he goes back to the lab, and there's a letter attached to the, to the running shoes, saying, press B to run and it's really cool and all that so anyway go east and you arrive in route 3 where there will be a lot of trainers on this route um, so I may not be able to fit all this into one video with all the trainers on the route so it's time to get some training done with Pikachu and it's gonna be pretty easy I guess for this battle because it's um, two Pidgeys and I get a nice critical hit there which is Really, yeah, nice. Um, Pikachu is going to be getting a lot of XP through this route, so it's <coughs> very good. So what I did is um, I did a bit of training up on Pikachu outside, video editing, and I just got him from level nine to twelve because I didn't want to show me training up Pikachu in the wild. It'd just be really pointless as a video. So. This train up here has a um, bug bug when I'm guessing, just looking at him. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. How oh, weird. <laughs> so this train has three Pokemon. More bloody bug Pokemon. I really thought we'd have got rid of them by now. <laughs> so this one, this train has Cappy, level 10, and the usual string shot stuff. And, um, can I say I guess? Um, I guess that um, in, in the next two videos of going through this route you'll be able to see something new that I actually haven't fully explained but I'll actually introduce that in the second video no the seventh video sorry not the second stupid me and you'll see what I have in store It's going to be really great to see what I actually do because it's kind of like a surprise and and I actually do believe I may use this Pokemon as a part of my team. So just just keep bloody battling away at these Weedles and Cappies. And I've been receiving a couple of messages lately about video stuff that I'm producing that the sound from the, the the game is much louder than my narration and I've had a lot of problems with making it equal if that makes sense so I'm like re <coughs> recording the ROM from the VBA Visual Boy Advance and then I'm narrate <coughs> narrating through my microphone in Windows Movie Maker and the process of doing that is that it's much easier to narrate after you've produced some it. But the downside is that when I'm doing it, this the sound from the game itself is really loud. And what I figured out is that I'll have to probably maybe mute the video or when I'm recording the future parts of the game, um, just record the sound about half level and then the narration right now should be pretty high. So I just battled that bug trainer and this cool trainer I think he is, or a cool kid trainer or something, has a rat out level 12. Not really special. Level 11, sorry. Not really hard to. to not really. Yeah, I get a nice crit there. Sorry if my narration isn't really great, but. Um, oh yeah, also, it's pretty important that you stock up on a couple of items. What I did is. Also, again, outside video stuff is I went to the Pokemon in QSA and I picked myself up with some potions and Pokeballs and all that stuff. Yeah, you know the usual medicines and items that you really need. So I get I get the paralyzed heal stuff, Parahax or on the Ekans, and again I do, which is really great because 
it has me wrap and that's taking my HP down like so much each level, each turn. And if he was able to use like poison sting or maybe another move that he does at his level, he probably would have killed off Pikachu, which would have been good. So just keep continuing through. And also yeah, like I said, those items, they're very, very handy. And Pikachu's great. Getting up the levels and I'm able to heal Mac. I'm going to come back to that bug trainer, but if you just go down there, you'll see this trainer here, and he'll say, hey, you're not wearing shorts. <laughs> it's funny. I think that's really funny. Youngster. Ah, oh, that's what they are. Youngster. Calvin has a spiral level for you. Now, that's pretty strong for a, um, for a trainer. I think this is, like, one of the strongest Pokemon, Pokemon on the route. And as long as you have, um, something that's able to knock you out in a couple of turns, it ain't gonna cause you that much trouble. Look at yeah, Pikachu here, with the electricity stuff. It's like, zap, you're dead. Can't do much to me. <laughs> so, nice bit of XP there, and a bit nicer, a bit of amount of money as well. So I'm gonna go up this way first, because I can obviously talk to that other train after. See what this little girl has. Sally has a Rattata. Um, I'm still considering the Pokemon that I may use for this team. I mean, because Fire Red is so massive, and there's so many great Pokemon that you can get in this in this game. And with this being a ROM, I'm able to. Let's say, you, like everybody knows that you have to trade um, Haunter, Graveler, Machoke, and over to another person's game in order to get the, the evolutions after them. But in this, this is, as this is a advanced ROM version of the Fire Red, basically um, you can make the Haunter like evolve into a Gengar at a certain level, Kadabra into an Alakazam at a certain level, and Machoke and Gravel into my champ and Golem at this certain level. Um, with my name being SG and everybody knows me as Gengar, does that give you the hint that maybe I'll be using a Gengar? Sorry. So yeah. Anyway, after battling that trainer, you you can actually battle this bug trainer here, right here. So going back to what I said, uh, maybe I'll be using um, a Gengar in my team. Um, I really like Gengar so much, and I would consider using a Gengar, but. I get poisoned there, which is pretty useless. But the point is, um, I may use the Gengar throughout this walkthrough. Once I reach the Lavender Town, and now, actually, it'll be a long time actually until I do get the Gengar. But not to worry. So, going back to this battle, um, I switch into Ivysaur right here because of Pikachu's poisoned up. And I don't want Pikachu to die on me, as the friendship may go low, may get lowered and I get a nice crit there off, off the cap here. So um, this bug train is about to send out his cocoon and I guess I could use Meandro right here. So then I don't really take much damage from the poison in the future. Which I do right now I go for the antidote which is I say always stock up because it's so important. You may just bump into Pokemon and just do your head in and just do these stuff to you, poison you, let it burn you, paralyze you, put you to sleep, so always stock up. Um, so right here this Kakuna is just being a typical Kakuna. I'm just getting hard, you cannot destroy me. That's what you think, stupid Kakuna. So the Kakuna goes down with Pikachu's looking pretty impressive at the level stages at the moment. Pikachu! So I just switch out to here to Ivysaur because I might as well just mix up the XP here because it's better to share than to be greedy in XP. <laughs> and that should uh, just survives. Oh my god. See, the hardness is so bloody annoying. Because of his defense, just keep going up. Yeah, well, it's down now anyway. So I think we'll be continuing this in the next episode. 
and we'll be taking up more trainers so thanks for watching guys